Hey there, today we are unboxing and setting up the Optima Intelligo S1 projector. That's right, in this box is a full-on projector. What's more, it has Android built right in. Think of it as like having an Android tablet built into a projector so you can have entertainment pretty much anywhere you want. Let's check it out. The projector and all its accessories come in this tough-sided vinyl coated case. This thing is definitely made to be portable. And if we open this up, you can see what's inside. We've got a remote control here. Inside here is a carrying strap for the case itself some basic instructions. Down below, we've got the projector itself. There's a power block, an AC cable. Looks like we also have an AV cable adapter for you know older devices. And then an HDMI cable is also included. Taking a closer look at the projector, I can see we have an infrared eye here. That's where you're gonna aim your remote in order to control the projector. And then we've got the lens right up front here. There's no focus ring or anything, and that's because the focus is on the side with this little dial here. That's gonna help you dial in a sharp picture. On the back of the projector are all of our connections. This is where the power cable goes. We have two USB ports, 2.0 and 3.0 available. And then we've got our HDMI input. That's in case you wanna connect a Blu-ray, DVD, or even your laptop computer. There's an ethernet jack here for connecting directly to a router, but it does have Wi-Fi built in. Uh, your AV breakout cables would go here to connect older devices. There's a headphone jack here. You could use headphones. You could also connect it to powered speakers. And then this little slot right up here is for a micro SD card, presumably to uh, expand storage. On the other side of the projector, we've got a power key here. The rest of the controls are actually touch capacitive buttons on the top of the projector. They're a little difficult to see, but uh, they'll light up when we put power to this. The good news about placing the projector is you don't have to be far to get a huge image. We're getting 100 plus inches from just six or seven feet away. The bad news is that it's really tough to get it just level. To help with that though, there's a kickstand on the underside of the projector as well as a mount for a tripod. You can project against any surface you want. A light colored wall or sheet works great. We're projecting against a projection screen here. And since our projection screen is elevated a little bit, we've had to elevate the projector on a tripod. That's because the bottom of the image lines up almost exactly with the height of the projector itself. When you press the home key on your remote, you'll be taken to this screen. Here you want to enter your Wi-Fi password so that you're connected to the internet. This Bluetooth setting allows you to connect a wireless keyboard or a mouse. And we were surprised to learn you will need a mouse with this projector because many of the streaming apps require a mouse for you to navigate them. If you don't have a Bluetooth mouse, you can always use a USB connected mouse. Finally, under the settings app, you can access Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well as basic system settings and device settings. If I go into the device menu, I find that it's pretty much set up exactly how I want it. There is an eco mode here, but it's going to significantly dim the lamp. The projector doesn't come with very many apps installed. To install an app of your choice, you'll wanna go into this Aptoid TV section. Once you do, you can find apps like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, and others. You'll want to install those. Then, once they are installed, you'll want to go to Add an App and find the app that you've installed to add it to your home screen. That's it for our unboxing and setup of the Optima Intelligo S1 projector. If you wanna learn more about this product, including what you can expect from its picture quality, be sure to check out our full review.